you know, I didn't have much expectation coming into this week. Um, you know, obviously off the back of Rio, I sort of had some time out of the water and, you know, took a little bit of a break and was just swimming a bit more casual than, I guess, a normal prep for a world championship would be. So to come here and, and win gold in the 100 was a, a little bit of a surprise. And, um, you know, I knew 49 mid would probably medal and, and fortunately enough, I ended up sort of standing on the top of the podium, which was fantastic. And um, I've obviously got the 200 tomorrow, which sort of is a big focus of mine. And so we'll see how that goes. Obviously off the back of the Olympics, I think, you know, most athletes took a bit of a break and, um, you know, if they want to go four more years, I think it's important to sort of take some time off and, and listen to your body. So with that, this year, you know, this world short course is always, I guess, a little bit easier or the depth isn't quite there as, as compared to sort of two years ago. But in saying that, you know, you've got a lot of juniors stepping up, um, you know, a lot of young people coming through and, and it just shows you that there is a great depth of swimming, you know, not only the guys on the team, but also the guys wanting to make the team in the next couple of years. I think we have 11 rookies on our team and most of them are swung PBs and a couple of them picked up medals, you know, the other night. So it shows that they're hungry and, and fighting for spots on the team, which is fantastic. Because we don't swim short course so often, um, a lot of people swim PBs and so there's that level of unexpected sort of swims that everyone pops up, you know, breaks their PBs by one, two, three seconds. We had a girl in the 800 um, swim a 13 second PB or something, you know. so. It's a great level of unexpected, you know, people are popping up everywhere and so I think that's exciting, it's, it's a new energy, um, you know, and I think you can go into races, um, I guess, not expecting a, a usual outcome, you know, it's a lot of unpredicted events happen, a lot of predicted, unpredicted times happen and, you know, it makes for great racing. In Australia, is a long course all year round? Absolutely, yeah, we go, uh, our short course is probably... Uh, June, July, August, so our winter. Um, at the moment, we've got a big uh, Queensland long course meet at the moment, so everyone's swimming long course, and, and then once the year rolls around, you know, it's all long course for our, obviously, um, Australian champs, which double as our selection. So, um, yeah, our short course is particularly sort of that winter, June, July, August, and then long course is pretty much all year round.